The purpose of this video is to provide instruction on how to connect a Teledyne API T-Series instrument with NumaView using NumaView remote software. To accomplish this, you will need a T-Series instrument with NumaView, Ethernet cable, laptop, and a copy of NumaView remote which can be provided by emailing api-techsupport at teledyne.com. Let's begin by powering on the unit and connecting the Ethernet cable between the analyzer and the laptop. An Ethernet connection is required to find your Ethernet adapter local area connection setting. To do this, you will need to get to the Windows command line. Go to the Windows search function, type in CMD, and then enter. A window will pop up with a cursor. Type in IPCONFIG or IPConfig then enter. You will see multiple connections if you have Wi-Fi, but the one you want to look at is the Ethernet adapter local area connection. Here we will see the laptop's IPv4 address, subnet mask, and the default gateway may or may not be present, but we will go over how to determine a gateway in a moment. Next, go to the setup menu and the T-Series instrument. Select comms and then static IP. Enter the first three sets of numbers of the IPv4 address from your laptop. For the last set, enter some number greater than 1 and not the same as what the laptop is using. In this example, we will use 20. For subnet, enter the same as your laptop. For the gateway, if you have a gateway default, enter it in. Otherwise, enter the first three number sets of your IPv4 address and the fourth set use the number 1 press apply and then home. Now we are ready to connect with NumaView Remote. From the laptop, open NumaView Remote and select File, then Add New Instrument. Type in a name for the instrument and enter the IP address used for the instrument comm setting. Select the instrument family and model from the drop-down menus. Port settings should be left to the default unless you are using port forwarding via a router. Press OK. Next, right click on your instrument and select the launch. New Movie Remote will now connect to the instrument and open up a copy of its user interface so the instrument can now be controlled remotely.